Hey, welcome to Man Kitchen Recipes. I'm Kevin, and one of the best things to cook on a Blackstone griddle is a steak. I'm going to show you how I cook a steak in five minutes or less. I'm going to do a T-bone steak. It'll be the best T-bone steak you'll ever make if you make it. Um, we'll get with it, but I'm going to just going to tell you, you, you get it on medium-high heat, get the heat up pretty good. You're going to sear that steak for one minute, flip it, do another minute, flip it, do another minute, add some compound butter in it, flip it again for another minute, and that's going to be just about it. You want to take it off about 125. Uh, you'll get a nice medium rare, and uh, let's get into it. So I've got my, well, I'll just show you I got my steaks right here, but let me show you over here what I got going on. Okay, so um, you'll see it in a sec, but I got this compound butter that I made up with uh, butter, garlic, and um, some of uh, Root Boy number one from Sal over at Root Boy. Sal, this stuff's awesome, especially in compound butter for your steaks. You want to get some of uh, his Root Boy rub, go watch his videos, like, subscribe, and comment, and uh, enter, you'll be entered for a chance to win some. So anyway, this stuff works great as in the compound butter for your steaks. It's great on steak and beef. It's got uh, salt, pepper, garlic, onion, thyme, rosemary, chives. It's really good. So anyway, check this stuff out right here. Okay, so here's our T-bones. We just have some Himalayan salt and black pepper on them. We're gonna do some asparagus. And I've got some garlic butter, and I've added some of the uh, Root Boy Rub number one in there. I'm gonna add that to the uh, steaks as they're cooking. Okay, so I've got a little white smoke going there. We're gonna get these on for about a minute aside. side. Got some olive oil down. <laughs> Asparagus on here. You're gonna want to get your asparagus on because it will cook the entire time. Just add some olive oil, move them around. Just don't want them to burn. And here's my temp. I have it set at medium, medium high. And I'm gonna add a little bit of SPG to my asparagus because it, it's good on that too. <laughs> move them around. You just don't want them to burn. Okay, so after one minute, we're going to flip these steaks over. Look at that. Don't those look good already? Now these steaks aren't super thin. These are just your normal steaks you get at the store. Nothing thick, nothing special. I'll let those go for a minute. Obviously, I'm not going to make you watch the entire minute. Keep an eye on your asparagus. Okay, so that's about two minutes. We're gonna flip them over for the third minute. And during the third minute, I like to add a little compound butter to let, let it cook in a little bit. You can add your compound butter later on, at the end, whenever you want. This is the way I like to do it. Sometimes I forget, <laughs> so, so I just put it all on at the end, which it still turns out absolutely delicious. So I like to spread it on there before I flip them during the third minute. Okay. Let those sizzle away. Keep an eye on your asparagus, like I said. Now let's get these turned over for the fourth minute. Like that. Man, these are looking good. On the Blackstone, you know, steaks are incredible. They cook fast. Here I'm adding some more compound butter. I will add a little bit more at the very end, but this is the last minute. So while that's cooking, I'm gonna take the temp check, and this one right here is at 125, 120. Let me move that for you, 129. So this one here is done, 131. So let's check this other one out. Okay, 123, 24. Okay, this one here is done. Now before I pull these steaks off, what I like to do is I like to uh, stack these on top of each other. I'll just turn them, get them stacked, and I like to brown up the edges. Get that fat kind of crisped up a little bit. Just brown it up. And on the bone side, if you have any blood there and you don't want to see it, just put the bones down for like 20 seconds or 10 seconds and that'll all go away. Then let your steaks rest for about 10 minutes while you clean up. Okay, and there you go. I also did the, the asparagus. Look at that. 
Absolutely beautiful. Let me cut into this. Take a piece out of it. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Perfectly cooked, medium rare. This took like exactly four minutes. Okay, there we go. The perfect, best tasting T-bone steak you can cook on the Blackstone. It only takes minutes. You gotta try it. Look at that again. Oh my God. Mmm. Mmm. So tender. Sal, that root boy rub really makes these steaks, I'll tell you. Asparagus, gotta love asparagus on the Blackstone too. Literally, dinner done. Five minutes, start to finish. Mm. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like, hit, give me that thumbs up. Subscribe, share, ring the bell. Have a great evening, have a great day, morning, whatever time you're watching this. And we'll see you on the next video.